Mm, good morning. Yeah, it was cold last night, but I wasn't cold. Right now, the temperature is currently 20 degrees. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Lily, and this is the Conscious Living channel, and I am a travel nurse. Uh, right now, I'm doing correctional nursing. I also drive for Uber, and I am living in my 2019 Kia Sportage. So, welcome to my channel. Um, I just uh, got out of Walmart, uh, but I'll tell you guys how my night went. It was snowing, you know, all yesterday, uh, and yesterday I was pretty sick. Um, I had the runs, and I still had to go to work, and I had a fever, and I was all, you know, nasally and stuff. So I don't know what that was all about, but last night I slept really good I kept my my car running the whole night uh, because it was really cold and I'm glad I did because I didn't know that it was gonna be that cold and so I am glad that I kept my car running last night um, I met somebody out here and he's like oh yeah you can keep your car running all night if you want to so I just did that it really didn't use much gas at all so that's what I did because uh, I didn't feel good at all. I was feverish and everything else. So, um, and uh, he's really, he was a really nice guy. He um, bought me some tea this morning. He like, we exchanged numbers because he's an Uber driver too. And I was like, man, I'm not making any money on Uber out here. You know, what's the deal with that? Because in my home state, I make a lot of money on Uber. And I only made $36 yesterday which and and I had the Uber app on for five out five and a half hours so it was pretty exhausting the top just broke off of the honey I got some uh, raw lemon infused honey that I'm gonna put in this tea that he um, made for me he went into uh, he called me this morning and asked me how I, how I was and you know how my night was and um and said well let me buy you some tea so awesome so i met him at starbucks and he went in there and got me some tea so seems like a really nice guy um anyway so that's what i'm doing it wasn't sweet enough for me so i went into walmart to get me some honey to add to it so that's what I'm doing now. And I got me some fruit because I'm trying to eat better and everything. You know, I've been trying to eat better for a long, long time now. That's been an ongoing thing. So I'm always trying to eat better and stuff. I try probably every diet imaginable. Things just don't work for me because I'm addicted to restaurant food. <laughs> so... But I have not been eating. Actually, I did eat restaurant food yesterday. Uh, I had some pizza. Some really good pizza. So, anyway. Um, he uh, is supposed to meet up with me t this morning to, um, you know, show me where to go to be able to pick up more rides. Because, and then the, the Uber app was really messing up yesterday. Um, it was messing up this morning. I ended up having to call Uber and, um, you know, talking to them because the app was giving me wrong instructions and it was messing up my tips and stuff because I was like lost. I'm not from the city. I don't know the city. I got some uh, mandarins this morning and I got a ginger shot and a turmeric shot. So, I think I'm going to take these two shots first. I don't know. Or maybe I'll take just one. I'm kind of scared. Because then if I take the shots and then I eat, how is that going to, you know. I, my stomach was so bad yesterday. So, so bad. But, like I said, I feel a lot better now. I have a salad that I'm going to take with me to lunch for work. And some pastas. A pasta salad that I'm going to eat. I also got 
these right here Tionic. I love my adrenals. I got one for adrenals, one for the gut. So I'm definitely going to be sipping on that today. And I love my brain, one for the brain. So I've got these that I'm going to be sipping on today. And I also picked up a keto matcha. So I'll try that. I'm going to throw that in my work bag right now. I think I'm just going to do a half and half. So this one, it says it has live, pro, live probiotics to support digestives. 4,000 milligrams of ginger, ginger, 700 milligrams of apple cider vinegar. Ooh, that's going to... That's going to burn going down. Maybe I'll do the turmeric. <laughs> I'm scared of the burn, y'all. I'm scared of the burn. This one is the turmeric. Ooh, echinacea. Yeah, I'm going to save this one for later. So I'm going to throw that in my work bag. And um, so I've got the... This one has 5,000 milligrams turmeric, 2,000 milligrams of echinacea. So I'm going to do this one now. Um... 20 calories so if you're fasting it won't break your fast wait let me see if there's any carbs um, total carbs 4 grams mm, sugars 3 grams it might break your fast if you're fasting so I don't know you know Cole Robinson from the snake diet he said don't eat nothing nothing don't drink anything don't add anything except for those salts to your water and stuff. I mean, I like Cole Robinson. So a lot of people don't, but I like him. He helped me, coached me lose a little bit of weight. But of course, I didn't stay consistent with it. That's my problem with just about everything. The only thing I was consistent with was nursing school and having kids. <laughs> that was the only thing I was consistent with. So until I stopped, until I decided that was enough kids. So we're going to taste this one. This is by Suja Organics. Uh, you know, of course, I, I'm a very small YouTube channel, so of course, you know, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I'm not making any money off of this or anything, but I feel a lot better. I, um, uh, I got to, I went to Planet Fitness because it, there was a storm out here yesterday and it knocked out the electricity for like five miles and it affected the Planet Fitness that I was, that I want, that I wanted to go to which is like right across the street and um so and I was so tired I just kind of like ended up falling asleep uh waiting for an uber ride in the car and when I woke up all the cars were gone out of the parking lot and I went to go take a shower and uh the sign was on the door saying electricity is out it's closed i was like wow so i didn't even get to take a shower before i went to work so i basically went to work and you know did a a you know a bird wash <laughs> at work and put my clothes on and everything and got to it <clears throat> so after i got off of work i went ahead and went to that planet fitness was open because i was headed to the original planet fitness that i signed up to by where i uh park you know where i was parking at and i seen that planet for i said oh okay that's the planet fitness i was at earlier let me go see they were open it was nice water was hot nobody bothered me it was awesome took the shower nice shower I was very tired, did not feel good, so I just basically laid down in the back seat. I didn't even set anything up. I found a place to park that was really close because I didn't feel like driving all the way back to that part. Plus, I wanted to look for another spot. Oh, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I like this. I like this, y'all. This is nice echinacea you know to keep you you know echinacea to help you uh, to keep you from getting sick or help you recover from a sickness which i was and turmeric is anti-inflammatory which i need because my uh inflammation markers are very high and i know it's because of the food that i eat you know the restaurant food so uh yeah this is good so yeah i went ahead and and um, 
found a place to park in a nice little neighborhood. It was quiet. I just laid in the back seat and went to sleep. I woke up at 4.30, had to use the bathroom. I, I, I kept my car running the whole time. Um, it was just way cold, way too cold to not have it running. Um, so I kept my car running the whole time and woke up at 4.30. I felt a whole lot better, like a whole lot better. It was amazing what he can do for you. <laughs> and then, um, so I went ahead, I fixed the car. I didn't feel like going outside of the car because I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to remain stealth, you know. So I went ahead and, um, put the, because last night I just put the, the the coverings on these two windows but it was so cold that it the covering the back would not stick so I just left the back open put the covering over this part so I was kind of covered you know and I covered my dashboard with a short blanket a small blanket to cover the lighting and it was all good when I woke up at 4 30 in the morning I was able to fixed my whole bedding and everything while I was in the car. I didn't even have to get out the car. So that was nice too. So I figured that out. So I think I just had to go through that last night um, just to see certain things. So I'm really happy that think the way last night turned out, I stayed warm, no cold nose. I, I'm not even, I, well, I got a little sniffle, but not bad. I don't have that sinus pressure or anything anymore. Um, it didn't go into my throat or my chest, which I'm super happy about. And my stomach doesn't feel queasy anymore. So I'm, I'm feeling really good right now. I'm still a little sleepy, but, you know, I can take me a nap, you know, uh, before I go to work. Uh, no problem. The sun is bright and shiny. It's very cold. It's 20 degrees out here. Why does it say I'm parked on a hill? That's weird. I don't know. I don't know about this car. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, got me some snow peas and some hummus. Hummus that I'm going to eat today. Some hummus. This ginger ale saved my life at work last night. So I grabbed another one just in case I feel, you know, squeezy. Um, after I eat my fruit, I'm going to start off with some fruit today. You know, because fruit is very healing. And, yeah, and uh, try to drive some Uber. Try to make some money. And um, so my experience last night was really good, even though it was, like, 19 degrees. Also, I love this stuff right here, true lime. Add it to the water and add it on your, ooh, your watermelon. It's so good. It is really, really good. It just makes the watermelon. It just brings out the flavor of everything you add it to. Lime is wonderful, but the true lime, I really like it. It is zero calories, zero sugar. It's just crystallized lime, no, not non-GMO. So it's awesome. So I'm going to put a couple packets on my watermelon this morning and eat that too. So I'll throw some packets of that in my bag, my work bag. Because I store everything in the trunk. And I kind of cleaned up the front seat a bit. So it didn't look so junky. I think yesterday was a really bad day for me. I probably shouldn't even be driving Uber. You know, because I just didn't feel good. But I was trying to make some money, you know. I just, I'm about trying to make some money right now. So I'll throw that in there. Because I'm going to store all that stuff in the back. Fixed up the back a little bit. My back seat is still nice and clear. Um, I picked up a lady to go to the airport yesterday. And immediately she tried to go to my trunk and open my trunk. I said, no, you're going to have to put your stuff in the back seat. She's like, oh. Yeah, oh. It doesn't matter. The, back, the trunk is mine. The front seat is mine. We've already discussed this. So anyway, yeah, I had a good night last night. Um, I don't know if there's any thing bad about running the car like that for so long because basically I don't think it would be because you could drive a car for as long as it'll go right so why would it matter if I just ran it and it was idle does that do something bad I don't think so 
and it's a brand new car so you know I don't think that yeah this was really good I'm parked over here by the garbage can and yeah I had an accident with my phone last night I'm not ready to share that accident but you know if I get it if, if I can get enough if I get enough people you know what what how about this when I hit 200 subscribers I lost a subscriber yesterday so when I hit 200 per subscribers <laughs> then I will share the video of what happened to my phone last night because you guys are gonna probably crack up because it's even funny when I think about it right now so I parked by the garbage so I was able to uh, clean out Ooh, Walmart bags are bad huh this bag just busted on open on me okay so um yeah so now I'm just gonna um, put on my makeup you know uh, pack put this food in the in the trunk area put on my makeup eat some watermelon and mandarins and try to make some money for a little while then I'll go to Planet Fitness and get dressed I already showered so I'm not going to take another shower but go to Planet Fitness and get dressed for work because I really didn't like getting dressed at work you know I, I don't know I just feel weird getting dressed at work it, although some people do it but I already I like to come to work already in my professional gear and I was like 30 minutes early but you know I just rather get dressed at Planet Fitness and go into work looking professional instead of having my you know car SUV life clothes on so I'm not gonna make this vlog really long of you guys all seen how I put on makeup and stuff like that um, I brushed my teeth in Walmart this morning and uh, like I said got some food oh I'm gonna stop the Dollar Tree and get me some long socks because uh, my ankles are cold every time I step out the car and I'm really trying to keep covered up just as much as possible I do have a jacket coat jacket which I call it my winter coat because um, I don't really wear a coat in winter because I, I can't drive and move around so it's like but I've gained so much weight that it's tight on me when I zip it up so I have this little vest thing and I make sure I wear a hat and ear covers and gloves and stuff so I'm good I'm okay as far as coats and stuff goes I don't ever wear a heavy coat anyway unless I'm like going sledding or making snowman or something and even then I still don't I just layer up that's that's the important thing layers 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 so um so that's how my night went it snowed it was snowing I feel much much better now and yeah um if you have any questions about this life you know or anything I'm doing correctional nursing travel nursing the Kia Sportage, anything that I'm doing, Ubering, um, just, you know, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll share, share with you guys. Um, I'm trying to create some content for you all and, I mean, this is interesting. I, I drove past some domes uh, and I, I do want to check that out. Now, tonight I, I go back home to Illinois. I'm off tomorrow. I need to buy my daughters some coats. So I will be taking the two-hour drive when I get off of work back to Illinois. And, um, you know, I'll be at home with my daughters. And then I will be coming back Saturday. And I will be back to living in the car. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy a Mr. Buddy heater. I'm going to research, you know, uh leaving the car on all night I mean I felt like I was stealth even even with the car on no like 
people were coming out and getting in their cars, of course, because when I woke up this morning, not that many cars were around me. So, and nobody bothered me. Nobody came knocking. Nobody, you know, I just think if people come out and see the car running, they might think that, you know, somebody started their car, you know, so, you know, before they get into it to go somewhere. Because I have everything blacked out so much. You, it just looks like I have tint on the windows dark tint so I think that it's okay you know for me to ride leave the car running I don't really use much gas I think the price of the gas would be the price of the propane take that I'm using with less danger um, so, you know of using the mr. buddy heater so I'm thinking that I'm just gonna keep having my car run at nighttime on those extra cold nights. I think it's freakishly cold, but I don't know. You know, I, I, it is Wisconsin. So this is really nothing new for Wisconsin, I think. So, you know, um, thank you for listening to me talk and rant and blah, 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 blah. And y'all have a wonderful day. Man, that, that turmeric shot was awesome, y'all. Go get you some. All right. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Oh, yeah, Jill and kids, I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.